bat-eared foxes, scientifically known as Ototian megalitis, exhibit a unique social structure characterized by the formation of groups consisting of mating pairs and their offspring. These small canids, native to the African savannas and grasslands, are renowned for their distinctive large ears, which aid in thermoregulation and detecting the sounds of underground prey. In their group dynamics, bat-eared foxes typically form monogamous pairs for mating. The mating pairs engage in activities such as foraging and defending territories together. The female bat-eared fox gives birth to a litter of pups and both parents actively participate in caring for and raising the young. This cooperative approach to parenting is essential for the survival of the offspring. The social structure of bat-eared foxes provides several advantages. Cooperative breeding, where both parents contribute to caring for the pups, enhances the chances of the offspring reaching maturity. Shared responsibilities, such as keeping a watchful eye for predators or finding food, contribute to the overall success of the group. Additionally, the formation of family units helps in territorial defense and resource utilization. Living in family groups also aids in the development of social bonds among the members. The interactions within the group involve various vocalizations, body language, and grooming behaviors. These social connections are crucial for communication, maintaining group cohesion, and ensuring effective collaboration in activities such as hunting for insects, their primary diet. While bat-eared foxes are generally monogamous, forming stable pairs, there can be some flexibility in their social structure. In certain instances, multiple family groups may come together, forming loose associations. These larger gatherings could be advantageous for protection against predators or in accessing resources in a cooperative manner. In summary, the social structure of bat-eared foxes revolves around the formation of monogamous pairs and the collaborative effort in raising their young. This cooperative breeding strategy contributes to the survival and success of the species in the challenging African ecosystems where they reside. The intricacies of their social interactions and family dynamics highlight the adaptability of these fascinating canids to their natural environment.